Um, A Taste of Honey by Habiba Kande, Sexuality and Erotology in Islam. Okay, there's a lot to say about this. So there's a lot to say about this book. Um, It's called Sexuality and Erotology in Islam. Let me show you guys a table of contents. So there's all of that. Talks about desire and modesty and what the Sharia has to say about certain things. And then over here, so like part one's like fairly decent, like it talks about like some filthy stuff. Um, and then here is where things get real interesting. Um, and I have to say, I felt very conflicted about certain things. So the interesting bits mostly had to do with like, These excerpts from, I mean, he says they're scholars. I don't know what kind of scholars. I think some of them might have just been, like, classical Arabic authors or something. But there's, like, some sketch stuff. Like, some dude, allegedly a scholar, is talking about, like, okay, essentially it was a wet dream, but it's about the hur. And then because he's, like, a scholar, it's okay. And, like, somehow it's, like, I don't know, a sign of of how beloved he is to Allah because the Hodar talking to him or something. I'm like, y'all, this dude's just horny. Okay? That's it. Can we stop making it, like, a religious thing? Hmm? And then at some other point, he's, like, whoever it was, whatever, like, classic thing that it's, like, quoting, he's talking about pretty explicit descriptions of, like, women and their body parts and, like, oh beautiful woman from this country or like that or this race or like that and yo it was really disturbing like it was very very like here we're talking about things that are like attractive and i'm just i'm the last person to be at prudent this made me uncomfortable and there was like some hella racist stuff that classical arab writers slash scholars felt and said about women and i it upset me i will be honest it upset me because i'm like this is not cool. This is like beyond like being, you know, Islamically sexually aware and liberated. This is just like perviness that y'all are just sharing as like religious shit. And I'm not here for it. Yeah, so I want to write a book review of this. It's been on my list of things to uh, review for a while. Um, It's probably going to be mostly my commentary of how grossed out I am by classic Arabic Arab scholars and how they felt about women because like okay the poetry is cool i'm like oh cool sexy times whatever but but when you all start like literally objectifying women and like talking about which races have the most attractive certain body parts or whatever that's not okay with me i don't feel that's islamically ethical either so i'm not gonna laud that but anyways i'll keep that for the book review um things that shy 